Kids love attention, and they'll do anything they can to get it. Sometimes kids learn that misbehaving is a good way to get attention. As a parent, it's hard not to respond to yelling, name-calling, swearing, whining, and other annoying or inappropriate behavior. But when that kind of behavior gets attention, even if it's negative attention, it can accidentally make bad behavior happen even more. In fact, most of the annoying things kids do are just to get a reaction from others. Here's a very common situation. Hello? Yes, I have a question about Mom, my bill. Mom, what I did? It's um, Mom. for the June. Mm-hmm. Mom, what could I do? Um, Mom. Yeah, there's a bill. Oh, there's a charge Mom. on there that I don't understand. What could I do? Look. I'm Mom. so sorry. I'm going to have to call you back. My daughter's Mom. trying to get my attention. Look. Sylvie, I'm trying to talk on the phone. What? Notice the girl first asked nicely for her mother's attention. But when that didn't work, she became louder and more annoying. Unfortunately, her mother responded to the yelling instead of when she asked nicely. This accidentally teaches her that yelling is the best way to get attention, and she will probably do it again in the future. It would be better to ignore yelling and other annoying behavior to teach that that kind of behavior isn't acceptable. Let's see what ignoring would look like. Yes, I have a question about my last Mom, statement. Mom, Mom, look what June. I did. Mom, look what I did. Um, Mom. Yeah, there's a bill, oh, there's a charge Mom, on there that I don't understand. Look what I did. No, no, I'm look. sorry. I'm going to have to call Mom. you back. My daughter's trying to get my attention. Mom. Okay. Mom, look. That was a much better example of ignoring inappropriate behavior. Ignoring means not talking to, looking at, or interacting with the child at all. This mom had to end her phone call, but notice she didn't reward her daughter's yelling by reacting to her. Instead, she'll wait until she's quiet to pay attention to her. Notice the girl didn't quit yelling right away. This is normal. When you choose to ignore a behavior, it will keep going and probably even get worse for a while. But if you continue to ignore a behavior, it will start to happen less and less over time. Of course, ignoring is just half of the picture. We want kids to get lots of attention. It should just be for behavior we like and want to see more of. Let's see how this mother could have used her attention to make the situation go much smoother. So Sylvia, I need to make a phone call and I need you to just draw quietly by yourself for a little while, okay? Yes, hello, I have a question about my June statement. Mm -hmm. There's a charge on there that I don't understand. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, could you hold on just one minute, please? Sylvie, I love how you're drawing just like I asked. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, it's for June. Mm Mm-hmm. That's the one. This mom really saved herself a headache by following some simple steps. First... She gave her daughter a simple direction so she knew just what to do. So Sylvia, I need to make a phone call and I need you to just draw quietly by yourself for a little while, okay? Okay. Then when she noticed her doing what she'd asked, she gave her some great positive feedback. Sylvia, I love how you're drawing just like I asked. Thank you. She also made physical contact with her by rubbing her shoulders. Physical contact is a great way to show approval of what your child is doing when your attention needs to be on something else, like talking with another adult. So remember, kids are hungry for your attention. As a parent, that means behaviors you like should get lots of attention. Behaviors you don't like and want to happen less should get little or no attention. Behaviors that are best to ignore include whining, fussing, back talk, or yelling. It's okay to give your child one short prompt about what he can do to get your attention. Like, I can't help you until you ask nicely. But after that, it's important to ignore until the nicer behavior happens. Some behaviors can be dangerous for your child or others. Those behaviors can't be totally ignored. You have to be safe. But it's still important to limit the amount of attention they receive while correcting the behavior. Otherwise, they might happen more in the future. You can watch our video, Tools for Time Out, to learn one way to deal with serious or dangerous misbehavior. Remember, you can watch these videos and get other helpful information from our website at any time.